A big advantage of Atlas Cobco DC electric tools is the capability to monitor the degrees of rotation of the tool socket during tightening. This strategy is called angle monitoring. This capability allows us to relate an angle value to the actual work being done on the joint, ensuring proper clamp load is achieved as a result of the final target torque. This correlates to stretching the bolt and compression of the materials we are fastening together. When using an angle monitoring strategy, we still look to achieve a target torque per the customer's specification, but we also watch degrees of rotation of the socket. Doing so can help us catch improper fastenings due to cross-threading, strip threads, bad parts, or operator error, even if the torque reading falls within spec. Let's take a look at angle monitoring in a PowerFocus 4000 system. First, we set our target torque value according to the customer's specifications, along with minimum and maximum limits. Then we need to specify a torque level where the power focus will start counting the angle, or degrees of rotation of the socket. In the power focus, this is referred to as start final angle. This is typically the point in which the fastener becomes snug and the clamp load begins to apply. From this point, the power focus will count degrees of rotation until the target torque is reached and the tool is shut off. Each application is unique. It is important to perform a sufficient amount of trials using actual parts and gather torque and angle data. With this data, we can define an acceptable angle window with minimum and maximum limits. If the final angle is outside the specified limits, the fastening will fail and the power focus will output not OK tightening status. In this example, we will demonstrate the differences in behavior of a hard joint versus a soft joint. When running the same simple torque strategy on each type of joint, we achieve OK tightening status on both joints. In the second stage of our two-stage tightening, the difference in degrees of rotation is noticeable between a hard and soft joint, but without angle monitoring, we have no way to differentiate varying joint types. When we utilize angle monitoring, we can easily identify the behavior of certain joint types. Here we optimize our tightening strategy for the soft joint. Once we determine the appropriate angle window, we can optimize our P-set to reach target torque while achieving the right amount of angular rotation needed for optimal clamp load in the soft joint. When we run the same P-set on the hard joint, the power focus will output a not okay tightening status because fewer degrees of rotation outside of the angle limits we established were necessary to reach target torque.